Hello, my name is Jack Dulles, Director of Training at Tulsa Welding School in Jacksonville, Florida. And today, I'm going to walk you through how to repair a weld. So, I've went ahead and set one up. Uh, we have a 5G uh, where we have put a TIG root in and hot pass in, but we were running the fill and we blew a hole with a 7018. So, what do we do? Uh, well, look, it's not the end of the world, okay? One thing is, you know how to weld. So this is the way we can fix it. So I'm gonna walk you through how to repair this weld today, okay? So as you can see on our pipe here, we had a nice little root in there and hot pass. We're running the 7018 up there, then boom, it pops a hole. And it's not uncommon, it happens quite a bit actually around that uh, you know, four o'clock and eight o'clock on the pipes. You know, there's times in there where there's a little too much heat or you don't have quite enough root penetration and boom, next thing you know, you popped a hole in it. So what do you do? How do you fix it? And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my grinder. I'm gonna grind this part down right here. I'm gonna clean this up, get the, all the 7018 out of the way here. I'm gonna come over on this side of the TIG. I'm gonna make me a nice little boat ramp in there. I'm gonna clean all this stuff up real good with the grinder, and then we'll come back and we'll actually put our TIG process back in. So uh, follow along, watch what I do here. I'll grind it all and we'll talk about it in a minute. So I'm gonna get my grinder out and we're gonna clean up this 7018. Okay, we went back and cleaned it all up as you can see here. I've ground down where the 7018 was. Uh, I've gotten it back to where the TIG portion was in there, you know, and uh, ground down out in front of me. Got all of it out, got all the 7018 out, cleaned it all up, got it all nice and shiny, opened up my bevels a little bit in there. You know, you just don't want to grind straight down and create a big gouge right down in the middle. That's not what you want to do. You want to open it up. As you can see, I've laid it back open. I've got my bevels back. Yes, it's thin right here. You are going to have to pay attention whenever you're putting your TIG root back in because if not, it's going to want to rip open even bigger and make a mess. A lot of times, you know, the hole gets a little bit bigger and you're going to have to feed the wire in and keep this keyhole and keep the hole under control so it doesn't rip open and make a bigger hole. So, like I say, take your time on the grinding, pay attention. Like I say, don't grind straight down, grind in, open it up, put it back as the bevels again so you can get a nice little uh, root pass in there. So we're gonna switch everything back over to the TIG process. We get all my TIG set up and then we'll come back and actually put the root back in, okay? Okay, we're back. We're back, as you can see, I've went ahead and like I said, we've already talked about the grinding and cleaning it all up. I switched over to the TIG process again. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back and we're gonna put our TIG root in, then our hot pass in, then we'll come back over it with a 7018 and fill it and cap it like it should have been done. So let's, let's close up this hole. So uh, like I say, one thing you need to watch out for it's, it's very thin right there in that spot, so it's going to want to rip open. So you probably need to turn your amperage down a little bit. You're also probably going to have to feed the wire in there a little bit. So be prepared, be, be paying attention, watch out for these things as you uh, go to put your, uh, fill your root back in. All right. I'll freehand it so where you can just see it. You can freehand it, you can walk the cup, whatever you want to do, but I'll freehand it here just where you can try to see a little bit better so I can stay out of the way. All right, everybody ready?
All right. So we went ahead and put our root back in, closed that baby right on up, not a problem. Simple, easy enough. And uh, I'm gonna go back over and put my hot pass over it real quick, just so where we got enough metal to where we don't blow a hole again. And uh, so let's do this again, one more time, put a hot pass over it. I'll freehand it here where you can see it. And then we'll kind of clean it up a little bit with a grinder and go back to 7018. So let's uh, put our hot pass in, all right? Get a little hot spot there. That way I can take the metal. Oh, you don't want to stick it. Oh, almost did it again. Okay, and that is how you close up a hole and you repair a weld. Yeah, and the same thing would go on to apply is if you were popped a hole or let's say you had a bad uh, spot on your root. You know, you went and shot an x-ray and you had a bad spot there. Same thing applies. You find the area where the defect is, you grind it down to where you get the defect out. Try not to make a big mess out of it. Pay attention with your grinding, okay? Because a lot of people think you can just go in there and you just make a mess of things and then it's twice as hard to fix it. So take your time, watch what you're doing, pay attention so where it's easy to grind it all down, clean it up, and then it's very easy to repair it if you've done those things. But if you throw in there and you just get crazy and start grinding and carrying away, you're gonna make a mess out of it, make big holes out of it, then you're gonna struggle to uh, repair your weld. So, this was just a little quick tutorial on how to repair a weld. Like I said, we blew a hole in a TIG root and hot pass. So then I showed you how to grind it out, clean it up, come back over it, fill it back in, put a nice good root back in there, and then we'll go ahead now and finish it on out with the 7018, put a nice slick cap on it. But uh, thanks for watching this video, and uh, if you have questions or concerns, please reach out to Tulsa Weld School. Thank you. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something today. And if you want to stay up to date, and get tips and tricks to become a better welder, then subscribe to our channel. And if you would like to learn even more right now, click on our video. Thank you and we'll see you next time.